So today we are going to learn how to cut ruby lith. So ruby lith is another type of positive that we're going to be using in the class. Um, the ruby lith has two plies to it. So it's got this uh, reddish color um, matte finish. And then on the other side, it has a much more shinier um, acetate side. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to get a sketch and Again, we just want to work eight and a half by 11. We want to cut a piece of ruby lith down to the size we need, so a little bit smaller than our eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Um, and then what I'm going to do is go, I need to tape it onto my paper, so I'm just gonna cut the edges off so that I can do that. When I mean cut the edges off, I don't mean totally cut the edge off, just that ply that is the ruby lith. So I'm not actually cutting all the way through the ruby lith. I am cutting, I'm scoring the ruby lith so that we can just peel it off of the acetate, okay? So this stuff gets everywhere, and so I like to use some tape so that I can stick that on there so I get it off of my ruby lith. Um, and the scoring of this stuff is just something to get used to. I've cut a lot of ruby lith in my life, so I know the accurate amount of pressure that I need so that I don't um, cut through the acetate. Um, but that's just kind of trial and error. You have to do it to kind of feel it out and you will definitely get there. Um, I do highly recommend a very uh, sharp X-Acto knife. If your X-Acto knife is dull, it's gonna be an issue, okay? So now that I have some of the ruby lith cleared off, I can go ahead and tape this down. I'm taping it down because I don't want it to move once I start cutting. Um, otherwise, it makes it a lot more difficult and you don't want to mix up your registration with whatever it is that you're cutting. So I do all four sides. Okay, so one of the things about ruby lith is figuring out what is the positive and what is the negative. So we talked already about what we're exposing to our screens is going to be positive. So we need to make a positive out of this. And a lot of times people get mixed up with what they need to keep and what they need to remove. But if you think of it in this terms, you want to keep whatever is positive. So in my case, um, the this little design that I have on here, and I'm gonna be removing the background, getting rid of the negative space or the background. So the positive here is going to ex be exposed to the um, photo emulsion and this is gonna block out the photo emulsion and make it not harden so that it can actually blow out when we claim our screen. So I know we've talked a little bit about that, but it's a little bit, once you do it a couple times, it's easier to wrap your head around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting. So one of the things I like to do is I like to cross my corners when I get to it because it makes it a little bit easier to actually cut and remove. So I don't know if you were able to see that, but I cut this little crown out and at my points and at my edges here, I overlapped so that when I go and remove this, it's not going to catch on the corners and rip off where you don't want it, okay? I'm gonna show you a couple of tips, like if you accidentally do that or you accidentally cut through the ruby lith all the way, this is where this stuff comes in. It's great for taping stuff together for little boo-boos that you made. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting this out and then we'll talk a little bit more about it.
Okay, so at this point, what we have is all of the negative space removed, and that leaves the positive. And that's important because a lot of times when people start using RubyLith, they get it reversed. And what we're looking for here is a positive because the RubyLith is what's going to punch out of our screen that has the photo emulsion on it. So remember, this is going to not allow our screen, the emulsion on our screen to harden so that we can use water to punch it out. So, but at this point, now I'm going to focus on the details on what I wanna do inside of my image. So this is where I'm gonna do some patterning, um, more definition to where things are, um, I also kind of use this as a way to have some darker areas in my image. And typically when I'm using RubyLith, um, it tends to be one of my final layers that I print. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting into this and we'll see where it takes me.